to another episode of Reviews by This Guy and also Reviews by That Guy, which is on my other channel. I decided to do a dual video here. And as you may have gathered from the intro, the thumbnail, and the title, this is about the Motile 14 inch performance laptop from Walmart. But before we get into this guy, I'd like to say, don't forget to let me spend my money so you don't waste yours by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're interested in keeping informed of new videos being uploaded on the We Dean channel, don't forget to click the bell. Now let's get into this Motile. Now I've seen this laptop on ETA Prime's channel and also Austin. I almost forgot his name on his channel as well. And it seemed to get pretty good reviews. I mean, for the price, it was well worth it. I've been looking for something to replace my old grandma computer that has been giving me trouble editing and rendering videos it takes forever that's why videos are a little slow on this channel because it takes me forever to edit and render it and then upload it i've had a video take a almost a week to render one time and that computer overheats and i'm surprised it hasn't completely died yet but, as I said, Motile, this is from Walmart. It is a 14-inch laptop. It states it's a performance laptop. It is a HD 1080p screen, 256 gig storage, 8 gigs of RAM. Obviously, I'm going to try to upgrade those. But as you may have seen in Austin's video, if you've seen this on his channel, it's a little hard to upgrade the RAM and... The actual storage there, it does have two different solid state drive uh, ports there, or ports. Extensions, you can put two hard drives in there, but unfortunately you can't upgrade the RAM and have dual SSDs, which is kind of a letdown. It is a second gen AMD Ryzen 5 mobile processor with Radeon Vega 8 graphics. I'm kind of hoping this thing is going to render videos a lot faster. Now, obviously, this isn't some sort of powerhouse. This isn't my Alienware laptop that I want with an i9. Unfortunately, that computer is over $4,000. It's just not in the budget for me right now. So I'm kind of hoping this is going to do, do the job and just be a lot better than my old laptop. I don't think there's much else on the box. It's pretty plain. Let's take a look at the back here. See if I can get it in screen because this thing is rather large and it's taking up, as you can see, the whole screen here. It has Windows 10. As you said, it has the AMD Ryzen 5. It has Radeon Vega graphics. It is max boost 3.7 gigahertz. So it's up to that. Uh, it's DDR4 to be exact on the RAM. It has Bluetooth 4.2. It is Wi-Fi, A, B, G, N, N, A, C. The battery is a 4100 milliamp lithium ion battery. I can't remember what's in my LG. I can't even remember what it's called. The LG G X. Uh, Jesus Christ, I can't even remember what this phone is called. But either way, I think this thing has almost a 4,000 milliamp battery. It is 720p HD on the front camera. As it's as I stated, it has a built-in Radeon Vega 8 graphics. I'm repeating myself because I'm reading the back of this box. It has one HDMI port, USB 2.0, USB 3.1. There's two of them. USB-C 1, Ethernet 1 micro SD slots and the 256 gig and we're gonna end up looking at this when we open the box so why am I reading this and in the box there is a limited warranty you have a quick start guide I mean this is pretty self-explanatory some people might need this so they do provide it here's the laptop we're not gonna look at that just yet this obviously is the power brick. Oh, wow. I don't know if I'm entirely excited about this power brick. This is the side that goes into the wall. I don't think that I like that because... Look at it. I would rather it just be over here and then the plug. Either way, that's your power adapter. Obviously, nothing much in the box, as you can see. Let's get this out. 
I got the silver model. It does come in black and a rose gold. I was going to get rose gold, but only the top part of it was rose gold, and I didn't like that. So I went with the silver. It does have a very MacBook look. And there you go. There is the laptop. I think it looks pretty sleek. I do like this way they did the uh, Motile logo. I don't like the name. I don't know why Walmart went with Motile. I forget what they were called be before. I don't know, it was Power PC, something, I don't, honestly, I don't remember what Walmart called their computers before, but I will throw that up on the screen. I've never actually owned one, but honestly, this looks pretty sleek. It is metal on the bottom as well. Was manufactured in September 2009. Let's look at some of the ports here. It does have a cool vent here. It has a texture to it. It has a long rubber foot at the bottom here and in the top and bottom there as you can see on the side here you have your HDMI port your power adapter port you have your one USB 3.0 and your one C or should I say type C over here you have the two 2.0 USBs your Ethernet which does fold down it has a hinge and you have a headphone jack, and I guess that is the lock there. And this right here would be your micro US. This right here would be your micro SD card slot. How does that open? There must be some sort of fur in here. It looked like it was scratched. I was about to be extremely pissed off. Let's get this laptop open and see. Yeah, as you can see, they have something in here to protect the screen it looked like this edge here was completely scratched i was going to be extremely upset me and scratches on my devices it makes me really angry and as you can see it has thx and it says it there again and this honestly this laptop looks really sleek it only cost me 300 bucks apparently at first this was a 600 dollars laptop and then the price went down and Walmart was giving them away for $300. Someone else, I don't know if it was Austin or it was ETA Prime, got it for under $300. It's like two something. Keyboard's not too bad on this guy. Personally, I like my mechanical keyboards. I'm not into this ch chiclet keyboards or however they want to call them but it's not it's not bad really big touchpad here that's pretty cool obviously i'm gonna have to go through the whole setup and power this guy on this isn't gonna be a completely full review on this on this reviews by this guy we're gonna be doing some game testing on it obviously and on reviews by that guy on my other channel which will be linked in the description down below i want to do some video editing testing which is why i bought this in the first place is for that it wasn't really for gaming. I don't do much PC gaming, unfortunately, because I don't really have a powerful PC for that. This might allow me to do some of that. I don't think it's going to be too powerful, but I have seen ETA Prime do a video on a external graphics card. So I might do that at some point so I can do some decent gaming on here. I still want my Alienware. Who knows if I'll ever have that on the channel. Pray for me, please. Fingers crossed. Maybe I get an i9 Alienware laptop at some point. But for now, this is what we got. No more babbling. Let's get into testing games on here. And also, you're not going to see that on the WeDeem channel. If you're looking at this video on the WeDeem channel, you're going to see game testing. You're not going to see the actual video editing testing. You're going to want to head over to the other channel. And that's what will happen after this point on that channel all right well here goes both of them on the left we have the we deems new workhorse and on the right there that is the old workhorse a piece of garbage something that has given me much grief and taking forever i'm not going to go into great detail over this guy but there will be a link in the description and a link above of a video i did a while back reviewing this if you're interested to see specs and see exactly what problems this thing has given me 
this is not going to be a full review on this. I mean, kind of. But for now, we're just going to take a look at comparing both the Motile from Walmart and the Lenovo ThinkPad 355, which has been editing my videos the whole time I've had this channel so far. And, oh my God, has it been unbearable. That's why I bought this. I was just looking for something that was going to be more powerful than this and edit and render video a whole lot faster. Now, this isn't the Alienware i9 laptop that I would love to have, but that thing is over $4,000, and that's definitely not in the budget. And for what you get for the price that I paid for this, honestly, it's not bad. No more babbling. Let's get in to comparing these guys. First up is Micro Mages on the Lenovo. And as you may have noticed in the clip, it is a little choppy. Now the game runs pretty good. It is a little off on the Lenovo, but I pretty much think that the video itself is choppy because of maybe the frame rate being different on the video capture and also because this hard drive on this Lenovo is starting to go out. But believe me when I say it, the game runs pretty decent. I mean, after all, it is an 8-bit game. All right, now we got Micro Mages on the Motel, and the game works perfectly fine. The video does still look slightly choppy. It is not the game. It is my video capture. All right, back on the Lenovo, and here we got Sunder. And for some odd reason, it seemed like the game was playing in the background. I could not get the game to load. But I do have some old footage here from when I did play this game before. And as you can see, the game does play choppy on the Lenovo. It's kind of annoying. I mean, you can play the game, but the slowness just really takes away from the enjoyment of the game. All right, now we're on the Motel with the same game, Sundered, and the game plays perfectly fine. It's way more enjoyable on this Motel. I do have the game for PS4, but either way, it's kind of nice to finally get to actually play the game on the PC. I never finished it, and here's my chance. Oh, God, look how slow this is. I purchased Hatred a while back on Steam because it looked good and I just really wanted to play it but unfortunately my Lenovo could not even handle this. Look how slow even the menu system is. Heaven forbid you get into the game, it is completely unplayable. Hopefully we have better luck on the Motile. Alright, here we go on the Motile laptop, and as you can see, we're having better performance. Unfortunately, it seems to be still some choppiness. I tried to tweak the settings a little, and we're still getting some frame droppage. I don't know if maybe overclocking the processor might work, but obviously this Hatred game is a real resource hog. Uh, it doesn't even look like a game that would be hardware in or s hardware intensive. But I guess it is. Either way, it's playable. I can still enjoy it, unlike the Lenovo. My name is not important. What is important is what I'm going to do. Oh, Fortnite. Here's a game that I have never been into despite its popularity. I just can't get past the whole building stuff and forging. I just want to shoot somebody. Either way, I could not get this game to load. It, it, it loaded and right at the end, right at the last hump, it seemed to hang up. And then all of a sudden, it would just overheat my processor I guess and shut the computer down it did this twice I finally just quit after trying the fourth time we're just not going to get to see how slow it runs on this Lenovo we can't even get into it and like I said before maybe a new hard drive might fix that a little but it's not going to do much 
All right, now fourth night on the Motel, and we're definitely getting better performance. The system itself put me down to medium settings. I guess that's the happy zone for this laptop. Either way, the game is working flawlessly. There is no obvious frame droppage, at least nothing too horrible. I can play the game. I'm not going to because obviously like I said I'm not a big Fortnite fan but that's promising for other games that I might be playing either way thumbs up for Fortnite on the Motile Next game up is Remother, and this is a game that I was part of the beta, but unfortunately I could not participate, because as you can see on this Lenovo, it doesn't run, it's extremely slow, you can't even move in the menu, the sound is completely choppy and horrible, couldn't even get the game to start. Let's pray it's better on the Motile so I can finally play this game, and if it's not I guess I gotta get the physical. Alright, here's Remother on the Motile, and yeah, the performance is a little better, but it's still not all that great. It's The sound quality seems to be okay every once in a while, it chop out here and there, but the frame rate, as you can see, the frame rate is really low. We're getting anywhere from 13 to 20, I want to say 3, and sometimes it even gets as low as 4. There were some times where the frame rate on the top just looked off and the game looked like it was playing okay, but it would freeze here and there and get extremely slow. I still can't play this game. God, I want to play it. It looks like I'm going to have to get a physical copy of it. Even changing the settings to low and medium didn't really seem to change anything. Oh well. All right, it's definitely time for some Dolphin emulator, the GameCube emulator, I should say. And it, on this Lenovo, it does not run great. It is really choppy, as you can see here in Luigi's Mansion, especially when things happen on the screen, like special effects and stuff. It slows down the game. It's barely playable, unfortunately. But as you can see here, as we change over to the Motel, it gets a tad bit better, but not much. You still, every once in a while, have low frame rate, and it definitely drops and freezes when something happens, such as a special effect or a ghost comes out. It's more playable than the Lenovo, and I don't know if there's a way to change settings and optimize it. I think I did try some, and it seemed to work or... Make it a little better, but not by much.
All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Before I get into my final thoughts, I'd like to remind you, if you're on the We Deem channel right now, you just watched the video of comparing both the Lenovo and the Motal as far as its gaming performance. But if you're looking to check out the editing and rendering video in Premiere performance, which is exactly why I bought this laptop in the first place, not really for gaming. Don't forget to head over to my other channel, my personal channel. The link will be in the description down below. And if I can, there will be a card at the top of the screen. You can go ahead and check that video out. But for now, we're going to give my final thoughts on gaming on both these laptops. I am going to talk a little bit about some of the issues I have with this laptop as well. So we're going to go ahead and take the Lenovo out of the way. But I will be talking about final thoughts on the performance of this guy as far as gaming is concerned. But let's get that out of the way. Let's move this guy more in the frame and the Motel. And before I get into my final thoughts of the gaming performance on this, I'd like to get into some of my gripes, which is not a whole lot. One is this keyboard. The keyboard, obviously, since this is a 14 inch laptop, is a lot smaller. I wish they would have took cues from the older Macs where the keyboard came all the way out to the edge just to make these keyboards a little more spread out and bigger because I'm having a lot of errors. It has increased compared to that Lenovo, which is a 15 inch laptop, which has a lot bigger keyboard. So there, the margin for error has increased. I think over time I might get used to the smaller keyboard and that will change. My second thing is this power button when i first tried to power it on i pressed the button and it didn't come on it did it again didn't come on seems that you have to press it in pretty hard at least on mine and hold it for it to come on not a big deal it does come on thank god uh, my second thing is is that walmart really didn't think of protection for this laptop they don't have any like silicone cases this is metal. I would like to put a case over it. It's not like the plastic Lenovo, which is probably going to stand up better. This thing will probably get a lot of scratches. So it would have been nice if Walmart came out with a rubberized silicone case that went over this. I mean, because this isn't a known brand like HP or Mac or Lenovo, it's pretty hard to find a case for this. I did find a 14-inch laptop pouch I can put this in, which I probably will buy. So, I mean, I just wish Walmart would have came out with something like that. Obviously, you see the gripes aren't that big. Other than that, I'm really liking this laptop. It definitely was a really good purchase at 300 bucks. It's definitely going to get the job done. I'm definitely going to have videos out faster. The only reason this video has taken a long time, sorry guys, I've been working on this video for two weeks. It's pretty bad. It's because that Lenovo has just been giving me nothing but problems with the editing and capturing video for that particular part of this video and that's been a pain in the butt but let's go into performance of this guy as far as gaming is concerned and obviously i didn't show it in the video but this is going to run all your 8 and 16 bit emulation it's most likely going to run playstation which i haven't shown in here I did do a little bit of GameCube emulation as you've seen in the video and it still was a little choppy. Now I don't know nothing about setting that emulator up. Maybe there's some settings that I have to change. I tried to change some settings that seemed to help a little bit but it still was choppy. But even with that said, it was still performing better than a Lenovo. The Lenovo was crappy. It ran the game but not very well. This was a little more playable, but the sound was still choppy and the game would freeze during certain animations. So that was kind of annoying because I really would have liked to play Luigi's Mansion, which unfortunately I don't own for GameCube, which I got to pick up. Uh, we also tested uh, Sunderer on this laptop. It did really well, which it for some reason won't load on that Lenovo. Now the clip that I showed in the video was of a previous time I got it to load on there and it did load, but it ran really slow. Uh, we also tried uh, an 8-bit game on there that I had that I... I think I have done a video on and that's uh, Micro Mages. That ran all right, but there were some choppiness in it. Uh, we also tested Fortnite, which I tried four times on the Lenovo. I know I keep pointing over there because the laptop's over there. Four times I tried to get Fortnite to run on the Lenovo 
it took forever to install it and then twice it actually overheated my laptop and it shut off and Fortnite runs pretty good on here I think the automatic settings go to medium for this laptop now I have seen ETA Prime hook an external graphics card for that and it, and it made this computer perform way better in gaming but I mean if you're going to keep the laptop stationary in your room that's an option but mobily you're not going to bring that graphics card with you but the game is playable at medium settings. I also tested Remother on both laptops which is a game that I was part of the beta testing and I couldn't actually participate because I had that Lenovo and the Lenovo won't run it. It won't even bring the game up. I think one time I did get it to pop up and it was extremely slow just in the intro alone and wouldn't load the game. It did load it on here. It was playable, but it was choppy at certain times. Either way, this thing performs way better in gaming than that Lenovo. It's definitely a step up. It was only 300 bucks. I think when it first came out or when they were first initially talking about pricing, this was going to be a $600 laptop. If you're looking for something that you're going to get medium gaming out of or some gaming out of, this is definitely worth picking up. But if you're looking for a laptop specifically for performance gaming, I'd probably pass this one up. I didn't get this thing for gaming anyway. It was for rendering and editing video. So if you're interested to see the performance of that, I will remind you, go ahead, check the link out to my other channel. It will be on there. If you do know where I can pick up a silicone case or protection for this, leave those in the comments down below. If you're interested in getting that because I know this thing's gonna scratch to hell if I don't put something on it. If you liked what was contained in this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you thought this video sucked, there's always that thumbs down. If you found this video to be of some sort of value, as always, please consider sharing amongst friends and the rest of your social media. And as always, don't forget to let me spend my money on things like this. So you don't waste yours by hitting that subscribe button. Normally right here at the end screen, I'd blow your eardrums out with the outro music. But for now, you're going to have to hear my beautiful voice. Don't forget, if you're interested in seeing the video editing performance of this Motile laptop, click the link in the description down below. Head over to my personal channel. Check that video out. Also, I'm going to be doing a full review on this laptop on reviewsbythisguy.com. If you're interested in that, follow us on Twitter at Weedean Channel, and I will post the link as soon as that is done. Also, if I forgot anything in this video, anything that you you'd like to see tested on the Motile, please let me know in the description down below. I was going to test the Redream emulator for Dreamcast. I didn't get to that. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know in the comments down below. I got this laptop mainly for video editing. So if you head over here and check out that video, I don't know, maybe it was worth it. Did it do a really good job at video editing? Go ahead find out but as far as gaming is concerned uh, it's not all that great but it is a low budget performance laptop and like gaming is possible and there are some games I'm gonna get to play that I could not play on the Lenovo but if you're looking for a gaming laptop uh, I wouldn't really look at this Motile I mean unless you want to hook an external GPU to it and that could be an option either way Thanks for watching.